calling yet another example of if you don't like the weather, just wait a day, yeah. right? Yeah, um, right. just, well, depends on what you're looking for in terms right. of the weather. Maybe yeah. cold, blustery mm -hmm. weather. If you're yeah. a fan of that, you like to. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, some people love their sweaters, love yeah. their jackets. That's right. Layering. Yeah, or don't you know, have anywhere to go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bundle up nice and cozy. Um, <laughs> Today, at least the sun came out. Yeah. You know, right. looking live on the carsoup.com skycam. We had the cloud deck that's around for quite a while today in Mankato, off on the western side. They got the sun earlier. Now, we've since warmed to 43 degrees. That's our high point so far today. Uh, winds also significantly lighter as well. Yesterday, we had gusts into those 30s. Now, today, 5 10 miles an hour. That's about it. Um, really dynamic across the board. You can tell where that cloud cover just kind of kept working its way on through and Oatana still struggling to reach that 40 degree mark. I do expect you to uh, just reach that 40 degree mark with the little bit of sun that we have left today. But for the most part, these are going to be our high temperatures from today. Winds once again, not too bad, just out of the north. Now, in terms of that cloud cover, really didn't do much. Just kind of blocked out the sun. Any precip that was showing up here really wasn't reaching the ground. We're just too dry. Next system, though, is this congestion out here. And in fact, I expect this cloud bank uh, working across Nebraska into South Dakota thicken up just a little bit because there's a warm front that's beginning to work its way into that region. And that's going to be the first thing that's going to work into our area, bringing some precipitation for tomorrow. So what are we planning? Well, overnight, we're going to watch the cloud cover continue to thicken up. During the early morning hours, we're going to get a band that passes on through could even see a little bit of mixed precipitation with that. Cold front slumps its way by uh, bringing more precipitation into the afternoon. Wednesday then, wraparound showers on the back. Not a lot of accumulations on Wednesday, but still sometimes where we are going to see some precipitation. And then Thursday, look at this. This uh, banner is hiding the low pressure system, but a low clipper system is going to work its way on through, and that's going to bring some more scattered showers and some breezy conditions along with it. So. Tonight, cloud cover continues to thicken up. By the time we're waking up tomorrow, we're expected to be pretty much mostly cloudy. Uh, some rain will begin to work its way in on the southwest corner of Minnesota. Could even see a little bit of snow and sleet mixed in. Not talking accumulations with that, but that uh, still is a possibility during the leading edge. Into the afternoon, here's the cold front slumping its way on through. Could see a couple more spotty showers with that. Into the uh, overnight of Wednesday, we get a brief little break, but then Wednesday we see some more scattered showers work their way on through on the backside of that low pressure system, uh, and then cloudy conditions and breezy out of the northwest behind that. In terms of accumulations, it's not really big. A tenth of an inch, three tenths of an inch. Um, this isn't really a dowser in terms of precipitation, but we are still going to see a couple tenths of uh, accumulations when all is said and done. All right, tonight, 32 degrees, that cloud cover working its way on in. Winds still fairly light, but tomorrow winds are going to increase out of the south and we're going to watch temperatures rise pretty much through the day, closing uh, near 50 degrees. Cloud cover and uh, sh uh, spotty showers through much of the day could get a couple little peaks of sun late afternoon as that cold front does work its way on through. But for the most part, cloudy overall, 50 degrees for a high temperature and winds out of the south uh, gusting around 30, 35 miles an hour. And you'll notice these next three days, we're watching breezy conditions. The good news is at least the temperatures are just slightly beneath what the average is for this time of year. Friday, though, comes along and we actually see some clearing skies on the horizon and Saturday just a little bit better as we warm in into those mid 50s by that point with just a late shot of rain coming in on Sunday evening. One last thing I just want to note real quick. If you want to swing by the Hilltop High V this Saturday, we are programming weather radios from noon until two. Uh, Mark, Mitch and myself will all be there. So yeah, it'll be a fun time. It always is a great way to keep yourself safe mm -hmm. during severe weather season. A warning comes out. It alerts you to yep. that. So you Pretty have that cool. early. Uh, early time to take precautions. I always need the tech support, yeah. so that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're here. Your help. So. Thank you.